Hi and welcome. This video will demonstrate how to create an AutoCAD file uh, for an SI2015 project. And uh, this video is just going to cover just the basic creation and then in other videos we'll go into more details about actually creating the pages and, and what the blocks do on them. So to um, do this, let's go to the Start menu, uh, go to Projects and then Manage Projects. Uh, select the project you want to work with. Uh, check it out from your SI2015 server. And um, then there's multiple ways you can create an AutoCAD file. Uh, at the very bottom of the screen here, you'll see a file section. And from here, you could choose new AutoCAD drawing. Uh, you could do it from the menu up here, right here in the uh, Project Explorer. Or you can always right click a uh, project, open an AutoCAD, and choose new drawing. And what this is going to do, it's going to open up a form for you to select which uh, page type or sheet type you want to create. There are four of them inside of SI 2015, uh, four different styles of drawings. There's uh, elevation, which is scaled uh, based on height and width of products, generally for doing like a rack elevation uh, view. There's line, uh, in this case in AutoCAD, is a very simple little block that just uh, lists the uh, manufacturer, the model, and the component ID for the park. Um, a resizable box is the best way to describe that, or a rectangle. Uh, plan view, these are simple icons that will list the component ID of a product um, and they're intended to be um, laid out over top of a uh, floor plan, perhaps you've inserted an external reference. And then there's the schematic page and a schematic page um, is for doing the input and output uh, drawings for a device, essentially a wiring diagram where you connect our uh, wire blocks between these schematic blocks and you can get wiring reports out of the software. So um, when you select one of these, uh, we'll just say elevation in this case, you'll see the uh, drawing name will fill in with the name of the uh, project followed by what type of page you've selected or sheet you've selected, followed by the number one. And uh, just hit OK, and this will open inside of AutoCAD. If this is your first time creating an AutoCAD file, you're going to be prompted to download the uh, DTools SI2015 blocks from the DTools server. That's a good idea, um, otherwise you're not going to have any of our uh, blocks to work with inside of the AutoCAD interface. So go ahead and click yes on this and it will download um, our block library down to your local machine. And um, here you can see the AutoCAD interface. And uh, what opened with this also was the project editor. Let me drag this over to this screen here. Um, so here's the project editor for this particular project. It already had some items populated in it. Um, if you ever close this or um, minimize it and want to bring it back, you can always do that from your uh, taskbar in Windows or this big button over here, uh, the project editor button, will also bring that right back for you. And as I mentioned, we'll be covering uh, how to do the different drawing sheets or pages in uh, different videos. But a quick little tour here of this interface. Um, obviously, we've got the project editor here. That's part of uh, our integration to AutoCAD. But if you minimize this, uh, you'll also see over here your product list. So this is looking at your SI2015 catalog. Uh, right now, it's being viewed by uh, manufacturer. You can change that here to view by category and then choose if you want to display the subcategory or not. Uh, totally up to you. And over here, you'll see the Blocks tab. And the Blocks tab, uh, this is what we were prompted to download uh, when we first opened uh, the AutoCAD interface, was this library of uh, DTools blocks that have been created. And again, these will be covered in the other videos.